so my father was a drummer, you know, I grew up in a very music oriented uh, house and I actually grew up playing Zildjian's from day zero. I started playing drums when I was four years old and um, as a kid, I uh, fell in love with uh, Zildjian cymbals as a child. I started playing drums when I was nine years old. I, like a lot of other kids, I was banging on pots and pans and little drums around the house and told my parents I wanted to take drum lessons. I would go out and save my money and buy a crash here, some hi-hats. Uh, it started out with 14-inch new beat <clears throat> hi-hats, which were my absolute favorites. I played those for years. Around, I think it was 1989, I was out on um, a, a nice little tour with a band called the New York Voices. and. Uh, we got to Boston, I called up Zildjian and got this new guy and uh, I was his first signing uh, uh, at Zildjian. My teacher Henry always said, you know, if you really want to do it, your best chances are going to be in either LA or New York. And then I decided to move to New York. I, I had a real good feeling about it. So I went up there and went to a place called The New School. And at the new school is where I met the guys in the Spin Doctors. So we got, to, got the band together, started playing, digging around town, got a record deal, and I was laying in my bed and my phone rings. I picked it up, it's, hey, you know, we, uh, we really like your playing and we'd like to offer you a deal with Zildjian. And of course I said, okay, you know, and I was really excited, went and told my parents. And, and uh, that was the beginning of how my relationship with Zildjian started. That must have been around 1991 or 92, I believe. After joining Earth, Wind & Fire in 1989, um, signed with Zildjian in the fall of 1989. And so that began the beginning of that relationship. And uh, I've enjoyed playing the cymbals ever since. You know, I grew up, uh, I grew up playing A's. Um, and uh, I was used to the sound of really bright cymbals growing up. With Earth, Wind & Fire, I used the A's as crashes sometimes because I needed that real that brilliance and that, that cut. Back in the 90s with the Spin Doctors, I focused mainly on the A Customs um, because those particular cymbals, they were bright but thin enough to where I could really crash them when they would cut through in that kind of a musical setting. And then when I got, I guess, you know, I went to William Patterson for about a year, uh, William Patterson College for a year. And during that year, uh, I noticed everyone around me had K's. And I started like thinking how cool they sounded. It was so much a, uh, such a darker, more mysterious sound. The jazzier stuff that I, that I do with Lee Rittenauer or uh, my own group or just some of the other fusion stuff that I'm doing, uh, the K's really work well for me. Now the K's had all these different layers and um, you know all these really interesting uh, tonal characteristics of a dark symbol. These days I find I play a lot more of the K's, particularly the K constant Opalon I just love and I use those a lot. I have a, a wide variety of great symbols that I've gotten from from Zildjian over the years. Uh, the K customs are my absolute favorite, but I do have A's as well. Maybe in, in 10 years, all, when my hearing starts to go, I'll go back to A's so I can hear the cymbals again. But right now, it's, uh, right now it's, it's, uh, it's all K's for me. And of course, the company is great. Love Craigie and the whole gang and everybody there. You know, it's just it's just a it's just a win-win all around. I love the company and I love the product. You know, they're they're always coming out with great new lines and you know the latest stuff they've done is just incredible. I mean, I really couldn't be happier with my relationship with them and you know I'll be uh, I'll be playing them until I can't play anymore.